The Islamic view of the Christian Bible, which Christians hold to be revelations from God, is based on the belief that the Qur'an and says that parts of Bible are a revelation from Allah God, but believe that some of it has become distorted or corrupted tarif, and that a lot of text has been added which was not part of the revelation. Muslims believe the Qur'an and, which Muslims hold to be a revelation to the Islamic prophet Muhammad, was given as a remedy and that it identifies three sets of books from the Bible as genuine divine revelation given to trusted messengers, the Taurat Torah given to Musa Moses, the Zabur Psalms given to Dod David, and the Injil Gospel given to Isa Jesus. They believe that the Qur'an and, these books, and the Suhuf Ibrahim scrolls of Abraham, which they believe is currently lost, together constitute Islam. S scripture. Belief that this scripture is divinely inspired is one of Islam's fundamental tenets, and traditional Muslim teaching stresses those passages in the Qur'an, and which affirm the Christian Gospel and the Hebrew Torah as valid revelations of God and paths to salvation. Early Muslims held multiple perspectives in regard to the Bible. Topic: <laughs> Islamic view of the Torah, Tarat. Topic. The Qur'an and mentions the word Torah 18 times and confirms that it was the word of God. However, they believe that there have been additions and subtractions made to the Torah. The early Qur'an exegete Tabari referred to the Torah from the Jewish as the Torah that they possess today. Topic. Islamic view of the Book of Psalms Zabur. Topic. Surah and Nisa 4 to 163 of the Qur'an and states, "And to David we gave the Psalms. Therefore, Islam claims the Psalms as being inspired of God. The Qur'an and mentions the word Zabur three times." Topic: Islamic view of the Gospel, Injil. Topic. When the Quran speaks of the Gospel, it is believed to refer to an original divine revelation from Jesus Christ. The canonical Gospels from the Bible are commonly assumed not to be the original teachings of Jesus or were corrupted over time. Some scholars suggested the original Gospel may be the Gospel of Barnabas. <laughs> Muhammad and the Bible Certain passages in the Bible have been interpreted by some Islamic scholars as prophetic references to Muhammad, such as Deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 15 to 22. Verse 15 says, A prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me. Though Muhammad was not an Israelite, according to Islamic tradition, he was a descendant of Ishmael and therefore traced his descent back to Abraham, like the Israelites. Mention of Parakletos English translation commonly comforter in John chapter 14 verse 16 1526 16 to 7 and 1836 have been taken to be prophetic references to Muhammad by Muslims Christian scholars on the other hand interpret Parakletos as the holy spirit similarly the spirit of truth mentioned in John chapter 16 verses 12 to 14 has been claimed by some muslims as a prophetic reference to Muhammad though christians consider it another reference to the holy spirit topic <laughs> quranic references to other persons in the bible topic some of the people found in both the Quran and the Bible include, Aaron, Abel, Abraham, Adam, Cain, David, the disciples of Jesus, Elias, Elisha, Enoch, Eve, Ezra, Goliath, Isaac, Ishmael, Jacob, Jesus, John the Baptist, Jonah, Joseph, Lot, Mary, Moses, Noah, the pharaohs of Egypt, Samuel, Saul, Solomon, and Zacharias. Christian apologetics. Topic. John Weingards and other Christian apologists reject Quranic arguments that imply the typical Muslim view of at tarif al lazi corruption of the text. They argue that early Muslim commentators held a more positive view of the Christian Bible and believe that the idea that the original text of the Bible was irrecoverable originated with Ibn Hazm, often written Ibn Qasim. 
Topic. See also. Topic. Biblical criticism. Christianity and Islam. Israeliyat. The Messiah. Mormonism and Islam. Topic. References. Topic. <references>